Hello everybody. In this video lecture, I will uh, briefly cover difference equations and how we can find a numerical solution uh, for a given difference equation format. Okay, so difference equations uh, are the counterparts uh, of differential equations in continuous time domain. Okay, in continuous domain, we have ordinary differential equations where uh, we write the dynamics in terms of uh, coefficients, similar, and derivatives of the input and output variable, like y, y prime, y double prime. Here, we have the coefficients, but instead of derivatives, we have uh, time sequenced variables, y of k, and delayed versions of same variable, okay, y, yk minus 1, yk minus 2, until yk minus n. Similarly, at the input, we have x of k, x k of minus 1, until f, uh, x k minus Okay, so we can write the same difference equation in a more compact form and obtain the uh, uh, same representative using a uh, summation operation. Okay, so so in trio one class, uh, we generally convert difference equations to the Z transform or Fourier domain and seek solutions in that domain. Okay, uh, in this specific lecture, I will talk about how we can solve difference equations using the simulation or numerical method. Okay, actually, the good thing about difference equations compared to differential equations is finding numerical solution is super easy. It's extremely easy. Uh, technically, in order to solve a differential equation, you need to convert them into a difference equation form. And the uh, solver such as uh, Euler or uh, Rangi Kota technically achieves this. And then you simply uh, find the solution using simple operations such as addition, uh, multiplication. Okay, so let's solve an example uh, here. Okay, so this is a different equation. As you can see, it's a first order. We have output y of k, input x of k. Okay, uh, we assume that all signals and systems are causal, such as x of k is equal to zero and y k is equal to zero for k is less than zero. Okay, so we will uh, stick with this assumption throughout the whole of the class. Okay, everything is zero before zero. Okay, uh, and input is a unit impulse function. Okay, so input is this. Okay, like this. Okay. And the goal is simple. Let's find a numerical solution for the system. Okay, so what we do is we simply start with the uh, zero condition. Okay, so what we do? Uh, okay, y zero. Y zero. Okay, y zero is equal to 1 over 2 y minus 1 plus x 0. Okay, so let's clean this to clear some space for us. Okay, so what is y minus 1? It is 0, right? This is 0. So this is 0 plus what is x 0? Since it is a discrete time sequence, it's impulse and it's equal to 1, so it is equal to y. It's great. So what is y1? y1 is equal to 1 over 2 y0 plus x1. Okay, everything is great. So the good thing is x1 is equal to 0 because it's a, a, a unit impulse function. Uh, y0 is equal to 1, so it is equal to 1 over 2. Okay, let's change the color again y2 is equal to 1 over 2 y1 plus 0 because input is always 0 uh, other than x is equal to 0. It's 1 over 4. Okay, it's great, right? It's one. It's not 1 over 4. Over here, it is I intended to do that. 1 over 4. y3 is equal to 1 over 2 y2 and it is equal to 1 over 8. So if we follow this pattern, it's easy to see that yk is simply equal to 1 over 2k. Okay, so it's very easy to simulate the uh, difference equation dynamics, but it may not be very easy to find a closed form solution like this. Okay, so this method is great, finding numerical solutions until, for example, k is equal to 100 or something like that, but it, it's not always easy to find an close from expression. But it was easy in this case because it's a very uh, basic and simple difference equation. Now let's change the input. Okay, this is the result. Now we have a unit step function. What is unit step function? Let's remember. 
Okay, so let's do that. Unit step function is this. Right? It's similar. It's also, I think, one of the simplest uh, input functions possible. Let's do the same thing. Y0 is equal to 1 over 2 y minus 1 plus x 0, right? Okay, this is good. So it is, this is 0, this is 1, this is 0 plus 1. Okay, yep, and it's equal to 1. Okay, let's change the color. So y1 is equal to 1 over 2 y0. Okay, there's no problem with this. Plus x1. What is y0? It is equal to 1. So it is equal to 1 over 2 plus 1. So it is 3 over 2, but I'm not doing it. And I will, uh, you will show why. You will see why. Okay. So let's change the color again. Y2 is equal to 1 over 2 y1 plus x1. It's not it's 2, so for that. So what is y1? y1 is this, so half of it. 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2 plus 1. Okay, this is good. Okay, let's keep it going. Y3 is equal to 1 over 2 y2 plus x3 equal to. So 1 over 2 y2 is, let's look at this, 1 over 8 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2 plus 1. Okay, good. I think it's fine, right? So if you keep the pattern, you can easily see that y of k is equal to 1 over 2k plus 1 over 2k minus 1. It goes like this, 1 over 2 plus 1. Okay, so what is this? Uh, it's a technically simple geometric series. Uh, if you remember your knowledge from calculus, you can see that uh, the answer is this. This is equal to 2 minus 1 over 2 uh, to the power k. Okay, so in order to come up with this uh, solution like this, either you need to uh, remember formulas and derivations from your calculus class, or you need to be careful and try to come up with your own solution. Let's try to do that and understand why it's slightly hard to do it uh, with these different equations and the numeric solutions. Okay, good. So, okay, so this is y of k, right? 2 times y of k, let's do it, is equal to uh, 1 over 2 k minus 1 plus, goes like this, plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus 2. Is it correct? Okay. So let's look at this. This is 2 times y of k. Okay. So it is 2 times y of k. So what happens if I subtract? Uh, so let's do this. 2 times y of k. I subtract minus 2 and I plot it 1 over k to this expression. As you can see, so I will remove this. This is 1. I will add 1 or 2k, it will be y of k. So it is y of k. So let's do this here, let's move down here. In that sense, y of k will be equal to 2 minus 1 over 2k. Okay, so uh, in order to come up with a closed form expression after simulating the difference equation, uh, first of all, the expression should be simple enough. And second of all, you should either remember your knowledge, uh, your durations from the calculus class, or uh, you need to uh, deal with, come up with techniques such that you can uh, find a closed form expression by yourself. 